been a while since I last streamed but yeah here we are back again this time we are checking out the newly released Forza Motorsport and we are playing it on PC and with the wheel of course uh, although I had to like skip the uh, the intro sequences just to get the settings right because apparently uh, it's Mm, can't really say it's that optimized yet there's still some like still some quirks in the game uh, in the during the early release but I'm sure this will be fixed soon but yeah we will be proceeding with the game so there uh, there won't be any of the uh, intro races but we haven't started pretty much on the career mode yet like the builders cup I just had to like uh, do a little benchmark and yeah Anyway, the inter race is already uh, like all over all over YouTube. I think everyone has pretty much done it already. But yeah, finally we got the game after it's been six years since the last Forza Motorsport game. That was Forza Motorsport Seven, and last year I remember doing a video about my thoughts on Forza Motorsport, uh, the reboot, because it's not called Forza Motorsport 8 it's just called Forza Motorsport so I think Microsoft has a longer term plan for this game this time and yeah and as always we are simulcasting on three channels that's Legion of Racers Racecast and Luis Moreno Sim Racing on Facebook and the Legion of Racers YouTube channel of course and I believe it's been six months since I last streamed uh, I think it was May or April I uh, had to focus on SRO and other uh, uh, 2023 season races, including, of course, the GR GT Cup. And SR, SRO didn't really go well, but GR GT Cup was a blessing, I would say. But anyway, without further ado, let's. I'm just gonna set my phone and the I'm still, of course, using my phone to check out the comments. So I'm just going to leave it there and we will be playing Forza Motorsport. Hang on, where is Street of Racers Racecast? There we go. Oh. 
so we'll probably just be playing one hour of it because I have to sleep early for work tomorrow but we will be playing more of this Forza Motorsport hopefully by the weekend right so that's it I'm going to keep the yeah just gonna keep that that over there so now we are going to proceed so this is the main menu and already uh, unlike Forza Horizon where like I currently have a Thrustmaster TGT and it works out of the box in Forza Horizon 5 without a problem like you could use the buttons to navigate this one you have to use uh, the keyboard uh, to na keyboard or a trackpad like this one keyboard and trackpad combo in one to navigate through the menus I am guessing this game is really <laughs> keeping GT away from its uh, from its sights but still that's not bad it's just like pretty much like every PC racing game out there like pretty neat you pretty need to like use a keyboard and mouse combo like in a set of course and I racing however thankfully uh, when enjoying my testing earlier all you have to do is just map the buttons and you're good to go force feedback uh, just invert the uh, force feedback and it, yeah feels great so so we are now going to career mode since I've already set pretty much a lot of the settings uh, around and again uh, I would also recommend using the automatic settings on the graphics uh, uh, video settings rather you just set most of the settings to automatic if uh, you're not yet sure also 60 fps just so you don't overcook your pc because uh, apparently this game is steep in terms of uh, in terms of system requirements at least on the pc side if you're on the xbox you should have no problem like just launch the game and you're good to go regardless if you're on the xbox series s or x but right here we have the builders cup this is uh pretty much their sunday cup i'll check on the comments later as we go through the game have to navigate through the keyboard good background music i would say also i chose the impreza as this, my starter car uh, i believe there was the Cam a camaro and a honda among three choices but i want to go for a four-wheel drive I don't want to go for a muscle car, it's not really my taste, but at the same time, I'm also not really into front wheel drive cars, so I'd rather, you know, have something balanced. Also, the requirements say that the game requires you to have an SSD. Also, I'm running on a hard drive, just takes some time to, like, load. Pretty much like Gran Turismo 7 on uh, standard PS4, not a PS4 Pro, if you're fine with that. So again, we are playing Forza Motorsport on PC using a Thrustmaster TGT. Unlike Forza Motorsport 7, however, uh, Forza Motorsport, the reboot, or Forza Motorsport 8, whatever you want to call it, uh, supports what you call an X input so you could plug in as many USB devices and customize them to your own liking not like for someone to first have and that was that was hell and yes yeah, you can see it's a little slow to load and I think there were some texture pop-ins so we can go practice Mix, uh, make some settings adjustment we want to check as well difficulty yeah it's set to 8 we don't know how hard the AI really is expert rules mm -hmm. car settings no that was game settings car and then yeah we can tune the car if we want to so let's go out practice and that's me with the white and red head uh, racing suit yeah some texture poppins i hope they fix that uh later on uh what happened hmm. 
got a little bit of a bug here this isn't this didn't happen on my test but the game is still up hang on I can't I can't seem to proceed to the next slide ah there we go uh, I guess they were not joking when they require you to have an SSD but I hope they optimize this for hard drive users as well uh, just getting into the tutorials there for a second I thought the game crashed wait what? Uh, controls what happened I mapped this earlier looks like we have to set it again okay already a hiccup but thankfully the controls are they should be like saved yeah I have to go all the way to letter T There we go. So we are going to use that. Uh, a little bit of a hiccup there. Can we restart or? There we go. Uh, I hope that I hope that thing gets uh, fixed. Wait, what was that? Oh, I didn't see an AI right behind me there. And again, some object pop-ins. They take a while to load. Force feedback is good, however. I hate the sun, but yeah, it's part of the part of the presentation. Ah! <laughs> so much, so much lens flare. Yeah, it's kind of unoptimized. I think I should have gone for a rear wheel drive car. Yeah, a lot a lot is going on with the CPU at the moment. Also the GPU. Feedback is definitely an improvement over Forza Motorsport 7. And this is just a TGT. What more if we start to use something like a direct drive wheel? I also want to try Forza Motorsport on something maybe like an entry level wheel somewhere both entry and higher level wheels because 
mighty gt somewhere in the middle being uh belt drive but already this is good what more if we use something like let's say a uh, logitech g29 or 923 perhaps in at the at a local event or something and i think i'm supposed to have a crew chief but he or she's not talking That arc suddenly disappears. So do some uh, other track objects. And the track itself. Yeah, I sure do hope they optimize this for our drives. Not many PC players are going to like this. Right now I'm trying to get the, uh, the bonus objective, a lap of 102.88 or faster. But I can't seem to do it. Not sure if it's because of the difficulty level or... What happened to the AI there all of a sudden? Okay, so fin press right to finish practice. Okay. That helps. At least the. Uh, I remember in Forza Motorsport 7, the navigation it tells you like button 3, button 5. But here at least you know which one to press on the keyboard. While at the same time you have your custom mapping on your wheel, be it a uh, Logitech or a Thrustmaster or a Moza or anything. But it still would be nice to have like a wheel that you can use to navigate to them to the menus and yeah I'm checking on the comments for a while uh, shout out to Emmanuel Di Parini uh, commenting on the Legion of Racecast channel go 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 Sir Luis he says thank you very much for stopping by on the Racecast channel um, let's try to put down the difficulty and see if that affects the objective maybe put it down to just seven one step down first then let's see if it changes the bonus objective if it doesn't then uh, I'm not sure maybe uh, we may have to try this game on a gamepad I don't know but the feedback is good huh? like uh, I can tell where tires are at their limit the front tires are at their limit like you could feel them like going light all of a sudden it's nice oh we're racing I thought we we're still practicing but let's see how the AI difficulty is on 7 Nice background music, though. Yeah, we're, su we're supposed to have a voice, but looks like it's bugged. I hope Microsoft and Turn 10 get these uh, get these settled. Uh, what do we have here? I'm not sure if we are s selecting our rival or what. 
But just like the previous Forza games, uh, some of the driver stars are named after your uh, who was in your friends list. Like, for example, that's I know Taichi94. I also know Dory Dory earlier who was in pole position. But some of the others here are like random gamer tags, Super Azzy DHK. Uh, raced this one uh, during the first uh, Le Mans virtual series back in 2018. Bugjum, I raced him in the uh, Porsche Asia, Asia Pacific Championship in 2020. Because 2021 they went for Gran Turismo Sport instead. Yeah, so I think let's just go race, but at the same time, we can actually... Um, uh, we have four laps of fuel, so we can adjust it accordingly. Let's put in five laps. This is nice. This is a nice touch on Forza Motorsport. However, let's hope uh, let's hope the race will be stable. And we already have an uh, a achievement for just setting up the car for the race. Alright, let's do this. really love the background music I'll check on the uh, comments on the Luis Moreno Sim Racing fan page after this race how's the game performance I think it still needs work it still needs a little bit more optimization frame rates are good but as you can see there are a lot of uh, texture and object pop it's like they disappear and then suddenly reappear So if in doubt, you might want to just leave the graphic settings to automatic and let the game decide for you. Or if you know how to adjust the settings, you can just set it all to medium or low. Like what I'm, go I'm going to try later on. Because I think there seems to be a problem with these uh, texture pop-ins when you're in automatic settings. I want to like want to like take out some of the unnecessary settings okay so this is AI difficulty number seven oh, look at look at the pit wall it's just disappearing come on turn 10 what did you guys rush this? Or maybe I have to turn down some settings. Because I think there is a problem with the auto setting. I remember testing uh, custom settings earlier. It seems to be run running better. Or rather the objects don't disappear and appear I think that's the cause like because you're in auto settings it constantly changes your uh, constantly changes the quality of the assets as you go so I think that's what's causing it it's not adjusting it on a per game session basis it's like it's adjusting it right 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 there and there so I think it's better to like tune it manually let's see after this race or maybe we could just set it right now because the settings save quickly so let's go to settings first advanced video or let's check out uh, basic video first dynamic render quality is on high want to set that to medium if you'll ask me uh, Nvidia DLSS I'll leave that to um, auto uh, but this is what I want to like adjust like anisotropic filtering I would probably turn it to x16 just so we can get pretty textures from a distance ray tracing off sorry Nvidia RTX off for now shadow quality probably set it to low or medium uh, cube map reflection medium car model medium car livery medium windshield reflection probably low mirror quality leave it to medium track texture medium particle effects low we don't see that motion blur off lens flare mm, it's only off or high so might as well leave it an auto or just high 
All right, let's see if that fixes things, and I hope the game doesn't crash. We have a few comments. Uh, probably going to be optimized on upcoming GPU and game update. Uh, GPU uh, drivers for NVIDIA just up got updated this morning, and I have a few friends saying they their game crashed, uh, but they are using higher video cards, so maybe it depends on the video card. Uh, AAV can last says real time settings adjust. Yep, uh, but yeah, still, I prefer custom. So let's see if that fixes the pop ups and maybe improve the game performance as well. So let's see. Custom settings now on the graphics. I think it may have fixed that. That oh, it's still, uh, it's still disappearing. We're in P6 and lap 3. AI is quite challenging already in uh, level 7. But then again, we also have a stock car. No upgrades yet, no nothing. Still a lot of texture pop-ins. The only thing I like about uh, another thing I like about Forza Motorsport so far is they finally got rid of the uh, what's called the three handling or steering modes. Before you had assisted, normal, and simulation, but. Right now, I think it's only uh, assisted and normal, which I prefer. Simplifies the uh, the experience, simplifies the choices. I can't seem to catch up the Supra up ahead. I mean, we are in an older WRX, and you know, Supra is really that quick. Yeah, looks like P6 for us here. And I'm not sure if it's AI is overpowered or we need some work. Well, I was able to do a 102.5 on the race, but not on practice. So I think the fuel load, uh, a fuel load, uh, affects it big time. Maybe that's because of the slipstream. But yeah, good first race, clean race. AV says try more LODs all on low. Time loads all low. Mm, let's see. But they say even in low settings, even on all low settings, it's still like buggy. But anyway, that's the first race of the Builders Cup done with. I think we might want to put the AI difficulty just in the middle because I think the strength is quite spread out. Like you have top one cars like overpowered just pulling away but then you have the midfield to the back markers like really really slow and again I'm supposed to hear something like a uh, Cortana or like uh, the voice of the game but it seems not in non-existent I don't know why all right so we're going to move Mugel, you next. Alright, and as promised, I am going to check on the comments this time on Luis Moreno Sim Racing while the game is... Oh, wait, we have upgrade options. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. So, okay, so our class, our... The Builder's Cup is like the GT7 races where you have some performance points limit and currently we have a car that's only on 547 so I wonder how it will perform if we just take it just a, just about the limit and I always forget I cannot navigate the game using the wheel also in Forza Motorsport apparently you upgrade your car by driving it more rather than spending your credits so I think a lot of people are not happy about it not just credits but you have to like drive the car a lot just to upgrade the uh, just to upgrade some components 
Yeah, so there's supposed to be a voice uh, in the tutorial, but yeah, it's bugged. I don't know why. So I have to wait before the enter button appears. Just have to reach it. But basically, it works similar to GT7, I believe. Like, um, you spend credits to upgrade your car, but to uh, uh, to unlock parts, you have to like drive it. And you have your performance uh, deltas here, performance upgrade deltas. Quick upgrade will install parts for you and build a car with balanced uh, balanced handling access. So we could go for quick upgrade instead. And it will put us up to 578 performance index points. It's PI here in uh, Forza Motorsport and then it's PP in GT7. But basically same concept. And we only spent like, uh, oh, we already spent 1,075. But also here, you like, okay, come on, game. Escape to finish upgrades. Okay, I want to go back to the performance because as you can see, you have uh, the number of CPs used on the upgrades, but you could trade in some parts to change an upgrade. So it's like selling a part for another one. So for example, if we go for exhaust, we put it down to street. It actually gives us uh, 125 uh, usable credits now, instead of like, uh, instead of like having to buy another part. So it's it's all right. I think you just really have to like grind the game and all that. So uh, confirm. Yeah, we're good. So now we can go on to Mugello and see uh, uh, costume tuning, yeah, pretty much. Let's go. So while the track is loading, I'm going to check on the comments on Luis Merno's sim racing. Let's see. Oh, hang on, I forgot to do something. Yeah, it really takes a while to load, so it gives me time to like hop on. Right, checking out Luis Moreno Sim Racing fan page. Yeah, we have Kevin Chua saying, Good "Evening, Luis. Should I call? Uh, I should call you Mr. World Tour finalist from now on." Funnily enough, got to hear from my company last week in a town hall meeting that my company was involved in providing the voices of Oak uh, for the narrator. And the local languages of the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember you were talking about like your companies working with uh, uh, different gaming companies. Stanley Goles says, "Hello, sir. Padaan lang. <laughs> the understeer is wild on the Subaru, and also because we don't have upgrades yet. Thank you for stopping by, Luis Moreno Sim Racing fan page, sir Stanley. Uh, and also want to check on YouTube this time. Let's see." Okay. Okay, we have three watching on YouTube, and let's see. GPN memes racing. Let's see what the chatter of the game is all about. And the game noob is asking, what wheelbase are you using? I am using a Thrustmaster TGT, but apparently uh, Microsoft doesn't like Gran Turismo, so they didn't put a uh, preset for this wheel, but they did put a preset for the. P300 and I believe the GTDD as well. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but anyway, driving assist we don't want to use that for now. So we can okay. Let's now with that. Now that we have a faster car, uh, like a significant boost in the uh, performance points, as I would like to call it. Let's see if we could like keep up with a higher AI level because we were on a lower performance index earlier. Performance points, performance index. Start practice. A little cutscene we cannot skip. And my AI driver is speeding on the pits. I have to find the driver like 5,000 euros for speeding in the pits. 
key segments. During practice, you will pass through key segments which are important sections from each track. Focus on mastering these segments to improve your lap time. Whenever you set a personal best time to a key segment, you will receive bonus CXP. So I think they're taking some elements from F123's practice mode. Let's see how it works here. Already the car feels different with the upgraded parts. We don't even know what we upgraded, but feels different compared to uh, compared to the last race. Steers much more responsive. can definitely feel an improvement on the car's handling a little naughty on track limits there One and a half seconds behind our target lap time. Still some understeer on this Subaru. Braking technique is still the same as the previous Forza games, like you don't want to use 100% brake travel. around 70-75% braking And I think we're getting less pop-ins now. I think it just needed to like reload the race or enter a different race.
Okay, that's a nice cleaner exit. Ah, still not enough. Be understeer. Ah, bad exit there. Okay, can we set the... Uh... Okay... No, we don't wanna exit... Uh... I just wanna go back to the garage... No... Uh, let's just finish practice and get on with the race... Alright, going back to the race cast, let's see if we have any comments. AV Kanla says, Ganda ng tire squeal noises. Yep, definitely. And um, thank you for letting me know the sounds are okay as well. Uh, how does this compare to GT7 or ACC iRacing? Okay, Forza Motorsport definitely cannot be compared with ACC and uh, iRacing because those two, ACC and iRacing, are more higher level simulation uh, racing games, sim racing games. But Forza Motorsport is developed with casual gamers as well as sim racers in mind. So the handling is more simplified. I'd say compared to GT7, I still need more seat time, but Forza Motorsport's handling is much more forgiving compared to GT7. GT7 is a little bit more, um, like, a little bit sensitive compared to Forza Motorsport. Feed force feedback though, I think Forza Motorsport is better with the right wheel, of course. Uh, TGT, I think, uh, much more, much more going on with the wheel compared to GT7. But anyway, uh, before we go on to the race, JB Gonzalez, what's up, bro? Uh, commenting from the race cast page and we are loading five laps of fuel again so 13% should do uh, don't wanna move the tuning yet uh, yeah let's go and we are on the highest AI difficulty so let's see how they perform this time
four-wheel drive launched we have on this Impreza. Ow, hello, I'm on the inside. Yeah, the AI. AI being AI can trust them. But now we are in the highest AI difficulty. With an upgraded car, of course. But I think we are catching up to the leaders already. Lap 1 palang and... Yeah, we, we already have a winning chance. Oh, hey! Why slowing down the middle of the corner, you? Yeah, AI needs work. But then again, AI is still AI, so you can't really trust him. You have to, like, just ram into them. No remorse. No remorse, no regrets, no nothing. Wow, if that, that Mustang... Pulling away on the straight, how the heck? Trying to catch up to the Mustang on the corners, but rubber banding on the straight actually just magically pulling away so much power for no reason. I think the Mustang up ahead is like at the edge of the performance points index, like close to 600. We're still at 578, so we could use a little bit more upgrades on this car. But coming from the last race, we did have some uh, significant improvements in pace. Like we were, we were struggling to catch up earlier. We couldn't even get into the top five on race one earlier. But after the upgrades, we're up to in the podium position so I'd say AI is fair but uh, no remorse last lap on P2 Getting darker, but this is the last lap. So far, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Just needs a little bit more ironing out. Yeah, I'm sure that Mustang up ahead has a higher performance index. Let's see at the end of the race. We'll see the performance index of the cars anyway. P2, I'll take that. And I don't know why we are faster in the race. Okay, 575 on the Mustang and it's pulling away on the straight. Yeah, I think it's just AI magic. But I'll take P2, no problem. And for the season, we have 44 points. So we still have a chance of nicking the championship. 
as long as we finish ahead of uh, uh, that red Mustang, I would say. Yeah, accept all gifts. Grasha yan. And now we're going to Kayalami, so much more technical track. Uh, two long straights though, that's worrying. Actually make that three, but uh, the downhill section with the fast left hander, I'm not sure if it will be taken flat out on this car. Three laps on this race, so it's a post race menu, so I think we can make another set of upgrades for this car. Let's see. Quick upgrade, quick upgrade. Let's see. Ah, we... Okay, so it will give us a car at exactly 600 points, so I'll take that. Let's go. AI level 8. Oh, there's a question I missed. Emmanuel Di Parini says, Is it worth it for a 3,490 peso price tag? Considering the games today are priced at around 70 US dollars. I'd say it's okay. And the car pass, it depends if you are really after the cars that are announced. Um, if you're after something like a Nissan R390 prototype car. R390 one, I think. R yeah, R391 is one of the car pass exclusives, but if you're not into those cars, if you're just for the game, yeah, it's okay. I think 3490 is pretty much the standard price of most console games right now. I mean, I think, of course, it would be better if, you know, we could get it lower on a Steam sale. Uh, I think Halloween sale is the one coming up next, but for, for 390 I would say... For this game, I would say probably wait out the Halloween sale, but if you really want to like, if you're really into racing games like myself, uh, it's all, it's alright, not bad to like get it right away, but if you're hesitant or still focused on other things, other racing games or other games in general, maybe you could wait out a uh, sale and get this for a lower price, but for 3,490 pesos for the regular game, I think it's alright, but at the same time, I think it's better to get this game through the Game Pass because the PC Game Pass or the Xbox Game Pass, but mostly in the Philippines, I think more will go for the PC Game Pass for only 150 pesos a month. And you could get to play this game already. Ba uh, the Standard Edition. Standard Edition available in the PC Game Pass only 150 pesos a month. I think that's the better route. But for me, I would like to have this game permanently so i went like buy the game myself in the steam uh the steam store but if you are budget conscious i think the uh the game pass would be a better route but be aware though that if you're using the xbox or pc game pass and you buy and you plan to buy the game later on in steam you won't be able to uh, transfer your progression because I believe those are two different versions so if you want to like keep the progression on the game uh, you might want to decide if you're going to get this game on the game pass or on Steam but not both I hope that answered the I hope that answers the question sir Emmanuel anyway so we now have a better car right now we are going to stick with uh, drive at our difficulty level 8 uh, right, let's see. Kayalami, we've been here a few times in SRO. But that was on GT3 cars. Let's see how we do on road cars this time. Thank you as well, Emmanuel. I hope that helped. Happy to help as well. That corner.
Okay, so I think the custom graphic settings help. I'm not seeing any more pop-ins. That's good. So, yeah. Custom settings are the way. As I have hypothesized, the auto settings change the asset qualities on the fly rather than on per race basis. So, so I think that is the logical way. The track detail of Kayalami is not bad. It's close to its ACC uh, equivalent. Using the same braking points as I did on SRO, just on a different car. The curves are different though, those curves are sharper in ACC. This is the corner I hate the most at this track. Very blind, heartbreaking, I braked early there. Be streaming, uh, it's good to be streaming again and it's on a new game on top of that. Optimization, I think it's alright, but you might want to stick to 60 FPS. Unless you have a really, 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 really beefy machine. Okay, those are some friendly curves compared to ACC. Those, those curves in ACC can kill your race, but here, much more forgiving. That just goes to show how much more forgiving that the game itself is developed for casual gamers. Because if it was that sharp, like in ACC, I don't think a lot of uh, gamers would go for this game. Really nice force feedback out of the box. Here, not too late. Okay, still early. Oh, late on the brakes there, but. I see we're able to take that corner flat out. Yeah, I think we can go for a 2027. Just have to nail the sections, right? We have a good car now, I think. Lost a tent there, but it's not bad. Outside, be careful, guys. I mean, raining in real life. Force feedback really good out of the box. Not much adjustments needed, at least on a TGT. Settings may vary depending on your choice of wheel. But overall, I like it.
Ah, we're losing a tent every sector. But let's see here. I think I got the breaking point good this time. Although understeer coming into the corner. I think I overcooked the front tires. Ah, bad exit. The game encourages you to brake on a straight line because if you try to do so, you will lose a lot of that braking power. Can we lift on this corner? Yes, we can! Seven tenths to go. there but I think we have a good car I think we can we can go for the race win here let's let's do it just need to have the right amount of fuel Yeah, we should definitely stream more of this in the coming days. Tomorrow, I would mm, probably want to do Gran Turismo on my own. And we're nighttime, okay. Okay, so car, fuel, tire, three laps. So we're loading around mm, 15%. Tune car. Let's see what we can tinker around. Don't show message again later. Mm, tire pressure you can adjust, but that's quite a high tire. Sorry, quite a high tire pressure for a road car, 41 PSI. I mean, I, uh, I feel like we should lower that. I don't know. Don't want to move it too much yet. We can't adjust the gearing. Uh, we can't adjust the alignment yet. Everything is bone stock for now. Wait, toggle? No. We can adjust the brake balance though, and the braking pressure, but I have no problem with that. We can adjust the uh, nothing. Force feedback scale and steering lock range, leave it 100%. So it's just mostly tire pressure. Nah, we didn't, uh, we didn't make any changes that much. Fuel and tire 15%. Yeah, let's go racing and see if we could get the win. For each race, you can adjust your starting position. What? So we we could even pick our grid position. There's no qualifying in this game as well. So so basically, the game was assigning me to a uh, to a grid position somewhere. But okay, projected finish six. I don't know, the game is putting us to 12th place. Total podium bonus. So, as long as you finish on the podium, I get this amount of credits. It's like putting a bet, except you start further, the higher the higher your credits will get. Hmm. I think we'll leave it at the default. It was in 12th. Can't believe how you can pick your. You can pick your grid position this time. That's a first. I mean, GT7 doesn't even let you pick a position where you start the race at. So, we are looking for a red Mustang, I believe. Or, I think this is our championship rival. I don't know. So, I think we want to, like, dig deep. Get to the front as quickly as we can. Now that we have an upgraded car, Kayalami at night, just like in uh, SR, and it's brighter than usual. The 
now our start is terrible compared to the last race. Just gonna send it, no remorse on AI. Sorry, you're not human, you're AI. Okay, one second contact for that one. Okay, gotta be careful because now the game penalizes you for actually taking out AI opponents. I mean, understandable if that's human, but come on, these are AI, can't trust them. See my breaking point there. I think our car is faster on the straightaways now. Okay, the curves are unforgiving. Gotta be careful. Okay, can we restart the race? I want a, a little bit more cleaner run. Okay, yeah, restart race. Let's see if we could get a better start off there and hopefully less penalties as well okay I want to see the championship standings as well yeah we have to finish that car number 147 problem is it's starting on pole position okay now we can pick our position now much better but Realistically, let's see, start in P6 this time. But yeah, uh, I think they should get rid of that feature. I don't wanna, s I don't want to pick my position just because. Better to have like a qualifying session or just you know let the game put me on a random, uh, random grid slot. Did we set our fuel? Marcus Goles says, what sim you use, Sir Luis? Uh, sorry, what do you mean by what sim are you using? But this game is Forza Motorsport, in case you're asking. But uh, sorry, I may have... Uh, I'm confused with your question there. Hello? Yeah, as long as you don't take the other driver out of the track with your collision, should be fine. 
once the game sees that you've taken him out like off the track that's where he penalizes you so I think that's what many other drivers are complaining about and these Cadillacs are fast for some reason Marcus Goles, I think uh, I think that may be uh, Stanley Goles' father. So if you're asking what sim I am using, sir, I th it's Forza Motorsport. It's a newly released game. Just came out yesterday for everyone. But it came out last Friday for uh, pre-order bonuses. Right, let's get slipstream. I'm not sure if slipstream works here now because if I remember Forza 7 doesn't have slipstream but it's hard to tell with a slow car. Still pulling away on the straights. Or maybe for some reason the Cadillacs are lighter, I don't know. Or have more power American cars and their big muscular engines but we have the advantage on the corners that is for sure let's see where we can send it to this blue Cadillac Okay, we have a battle here, but uh, our championship rival is running away, like... Half a second penalty because we hit him and gained an advantage on that one, but never mind. We're not be able to catch up the car in front anyway. But I know we are catching up on the corners to the car ahead and pulling away from the car behind. So I think it's just the thing that the AI has some magical powers on the straightaway but we are catching up on the corner. It's kind of misbalanced. But the handling model, the handling, the steering model just a dream so I think we'll take P2 on this series but yeah it would be nice if we have like a qualifying session on these races not just a practice session why did I get the six tenths okay you know what no, we don't have rewind because we're in a high difficulty level. Oh, I forgot. So we have to be one second ahead of the car behind. 1.1 seconds to be exact. To secure P2. have just the right amount of fuel in our car so we gotta be careful
and say pretty even. You have a good car. It's just maybe the car, the Cadillac, really has that much power. Finish a race with no more than one fuel lap car. Okay. Complete the Builders Cup intro series. I wanna know more about the Cadillac CT4 2022. Looks like a decent car, but yeah, we'll take P2 in the standings, no problem. As long as we get those credits, should be fine. Yeah, Sir Marcus Goles, it's Fort Samoto Sport. It's like GT, except it's targeted to Xbox players, whereas Gran Turismo is targeted to PlayStation gamers. So it's basically it's rival game. Yeah, it's all about the XP in this one. And at least we did our did we did what he could at the highest uh difficulty. Silver trophy for finishing second accompanied by twelve thousand five hundred credits. Thank you very much. Let's accept all. Yeah. Yeah, really really good game it just needs some ironing out and I would not recommend using the uh, auto settings you want to use the uh, custom settings for the uh, for the graphics and loyalty reward we get the 9 uh, 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS Sports edition but it looks different here for some reason what did they do Faithful fan it says white racing suit with a gray track ribbon pattern. I uh, don't know why, but yeah, thanks for being a fan of motorsport. Here are rewards to help you get started. Okay, so now, so now we get to pick our races. The builders, still the builders cup. We have different tours: the modern tour, the enthusiast tour, power tour, legacy tour, open class tour. So, okay, this will take a while to get used to, but at the same time, we also have, hmm. Seasonal events, I assume. Tours of Motorsports. So, Builders Cup. We've done that. But we can always uh, repeat it if we want to. So, now we're in the Builders Cup. Let's see. Practical performance. Built for sport. So, we, okay, so the modern tour. Okay, so we really have to do the modern tour first. And then do maybe a few of these races. I'm not sure how the. I'm still not sure how the career mode is structured. So let's see. Practical performance. I think it's a five event race. Judging by the number of bars. Right, so let's see comments. Uh, not much on uh, Racecast yet. I just read Sir uh, Marcus Goles' uh, command. And again, the the voice is bugged. So it's like a quiet game here. Okay, I'm going to check out Luis Moreno sim racing page. Mm, yeah, Agent to Up Gaming says, Magandang gabi, Idol Luis at Idol Stanley. Mukhang may hihirapan ang isang noob driver na kagaya ko. Not necessarily. Um, again, Forza Motorsport is developed with gamers in mind. So you can fine-tune yung settings mo, yung driver assists or your driving uh, controller settings to your uh, to your driving style or to what you are used to. So, uh, madaming options na pwede mong galawin to make, uh, to to improve your experience or to customize your experience for this game so don't be afraid to tweak around it and find your your sweet spot sa settings and you, that's the only comment that we have from the Lumis Reno sim racing fan page for now I'm going to check out YouTube Let's see live chat uh, no new comments on YouTube so I'm going back to Racecast for a while while this page is loading or never mind it's not loading. Okay, so right now we get to buy our cars and we have 600 over 600,000 credits on in our disposal. But what is what is our max uh, okay. The best car is a Volkswagen, Subaru, Mini, 2012 Mini. Don't they have a modern Mini like the 2017-2018 Minis? 
Although this one's not bad, but still, the better the newer the mini, the better, right? We have the 2019 Hyundai Veloster. Um, I want to see the details on this car. Front wheel drive, so auto pass on that one. But I'm also curious how front wheel drives behave on this game. So these are modern hatchbacks, I believe. Yeah, mostly hatchbacks. So let's see. Volkswagen, four or wheel drive. So it's either all wheel drive or front wheel drive. Not much, uh, not much rear wheel drive. Ford Focus is a front wheel drive. But I believe among the list, it has one of the... Hmm, hard to decide. So much cars you could try here. Let's check out my cars. Let's see if we have something we can use out of our garage. Oh, we don't need to buy. So if we go to buy cars, it will actually show you that... Okay, so it shows you what cars you've owned. One of them being the Veloster Forza Edition. I think I got this for Forza Horizon 4 because it's 2019. I also have the 2021, so we don't need to spend credits. We could use... Okay, I'm going with the higher performance points car, which is the Hyundai. Also front-wheel drive. Although it's front-wheel drive, yeah, let's see how it performs. Okay, select car. Yeah, we're going for the Hyundai. Laguna Seca full circuit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we need to upgrade our car because the limit is at 600. We might want to like... Uh, yeah. Crew chief. Okay. Okay, so we need... Hmm. We don't have credits. We don't have enough credits, so we have to grind for this car. We have to grind credits for this car to upgrade it up to 600. So, good luck to us in the race. We may not have the right car. Although, I think the track is technical enough that the AI doesn't, doesn't pull away from us at the streets. the bugs okay so we in the event if we actually get to know the get to know the number of laps already so we can use that to our advantage car fuel and tire we want to put in four laps worth of fuel maybe five laps to be safe sports tires and difficulty i don't know maybe we should keep it at eight just for the heck of it just to get familiar on how 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 hard the ai can actually push marcus goles asking my gt3 cars then sir luis yes gt3 cars later on in the game but for those who pre-ordered i believe there are already some gt3 cars that you could use right away on the quick race menu Right now though, we are just doing career mode races, so just to get the feel of the game. Also, I like how the cockpit mode isn't really that disturbing. I mean, not not, not, not disturbing in a way that it's... The wheel is perfectly, you know, it syncs okay with the... With your actual wheel but you have other views as well like this one but you don't get the rear view mirror this one hood view everyone's favorite view in Gran Turismo but not not on my end okay breaking but we'll stick with the regular cockpit view realism
I think this car has powerful brakes. Ah, I hate the sun, come on! Some sound box there. One minute forty-five. I think we'll be we'll be able to do it. Ah, okay. So is our car good enough? Just finish this lap and okay, I'm getting sound bugs. Yeah, let's just complete this lap and get those bonus XP. Okay, that was just lap 2, so we have one more lap to do, one more lap to go. It took a while though, and this is going to be a 4 lap race. But here definitely needed. Okay, that's three laps done. We are finishing practice. Nice car. Although it's weird how we got the bonus objective easier this time. So I think there is a difference in cars at play here.
Jared Kunanan, the Sun Glare, like in Motegi in Gran Turismo 4. Yep, pretty much. But I think the one in Gran Turismo 4 is much more forgiving compared to this one. No IndyCar or NASCAR cars on this game, just IMSA. Yeah, I think it's because NASCAR, the NASCAR license is with i racing now at the moment in the car well they were supposed to be with motorsport games but motorsports games is in shambles so we don't know what are their plans for the indie car game but right now the license is with, with them pero bahala na sila kung anong plano nila doon kung lalabas pa nila yung here we go again with the why is the game giving us random grid i mean giving us the power to go for grid positions i mean to put our own grid positions like can we just maybe run i mean we need to set it i know we, we need to check it in the game i don't i don't i don't like this feature i mean sure if i set myself to start last i get more credits but might as well just have a, a random like grid positioning or you know have the practice session act as your qualifying session and then have your grid uh, grid orders be sorted from there because you have AI cars running around the track anyway. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's just start midfield. But seriously, I don't like that feature. I mean, it's 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 not not it's not natural in racing where you get to select where you start in the career mode nonetheless i mean in single player quick race sure puede pero in a career mode race where you actually need to like progress through and you know grind hard i think it's it's an odd decision i mean in the real world racing you, you guys don't draw lots and you know who goes first in the grid race but you could draw lots if it's a, just a time attack race, like who goes first and all that. But anyway... Whoa ho ho! Go for the gap, the gap is there, here we go. Already up to P4, nice. And we don't have a fully upgraded car yet. And this is AI difficulty level 8, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure why. The AI is inconsistent. Sometimes they're easy, but sometimes they are brutally hard. Like in the, the Builder's Cup earlier where the AI cars pull away at the streets. But here, I think we have a fighting chance for the win. Second gear there. Ah, brutal curbs. So hard to see the left side on this view. Maybe I need to adjust the, uh, the field of view. I think we can do that. Let's see. Uh, we can adjust the field of view on a per view basis. I'll show you here. Uh, gameplay HUD. We are currently in cockpit view. Okay, so we can adjust our cockpit camera FOV to like... Okay, so it's just FOV but not the... But not the camera position, so yeah, nothing much we can do. So we're stuck at that seat position, rather. So our only option is to change views like this. It's still hard to see the left side in this view. So we may have to go for the Gran Turismo hood cam.
Brutal sausage curbs. like those two cars are fighting in front I think we'll have to deal with it Sound bugs whenever I hit the curbs or the grass. Got a one second penalty for that. Okay, so the AI is still brutal, but also because maybe we don't have an upgraded car yet, but we should be able to upgrade it in the next race. But we do have a fighting chance in this uh, championship that we're doing. I don't know if we able if we are able to finish it tonight, but I think it's just five races, so. But definitely an enjoyable game. It just needs a little a little bit polishing here and there. I could definitely use a car upgrade. What? Three seconds now. Very slight off track there on a straight. I didn't really gain that much, but wow. I would say the penalty can be OA at times, but it does definitely encourages you to like stay on the track, stay on the white lines. Uh, a little bit too much mistakes were made probably because of the difference in camera camera angles but at the same time yeah front wheel drive that's my thing we are definitely catching up to the leaders up ahead with a 497 performance points car mm, maximum the li maximum limit in this championship is 600 so there is room for upgrades I could definitely use an LSD in this car. Again with those sausage curbs. We're gonna get P4, I think, because of those penalties. Yep, P4. Fix this car. Doesn't have LSD on the front end. Yeah, we can definitely catch up. Just gotta be careful with this car. Lime Rock, okay. Mm, not that long of a straight, but okay. I want platform and handling. Or drivetrain, rather. 
we don't get any differential upgrade until car level 9 so quick upgrade please but I think the other opponents are upgrading their cars alongside us Because I saw the performance points earlier, they were right alongside what I have in my car. But let's see in this race, if they upgraded the car along with us. I think it's pointless to upgrade the car if the AI opponents are also upgrading theirs as well. So how many laps do we have in this race? Six laps because it's a shorter track. So we would like to fill up uh, six laps worth of fuel. Okay, fifteen percent. Quite smoggy on this track, quite foggy. One point five is the time to beat for the bonus objective. I think we'll get it. Let's see. Yep, we will. Oh, there's a car off. Careful now. Wow. Okay, at least the AI is aware that I'm approaching and didn't make a rush recovery at the racetrack. Nice, three laps done. We are ready. Yeah, so far I'm liking Forza Motorsport. Just 
not encountering anything major yet other than maybe uh, not loading the uh, force feedback profile for the TGT we had earlier. Actually, no, my custom profile for the TGT earlier. Don't know why that happened though, pero... It's not like when I first tried Forza Motorsport 7 on its demo back in 2017. Like, it was like, I was really struggling with the handling model. Like, how do I get this right? But this one, just as I expected from my video last year, even though the TGT you have to manually map it, I think the force feedback is just right. Also the steering mode is just no more simulation steering. I mean, let's see. Let's just verify that one. In settings, uh, let's see. Driving assist. You have... Each, oh, okay. So it's, it's still there. Simulation steering is still there. It's just not present in the tutorial sections. But so far, I think normal steering is alright. So it's still there. I thought it was gone, but simulation steering is still uh, allow manual steering into pit. Yeah, but I want to try simulation steering on the next race because we've already uh, we already got used to the to the normal steering on the practice session, so we don't want to compromise that. And again, with this, why do we have to like? I, can we can we turn this off like? Seriously, I don't want to. I don't. I really don't want to. Really don't want to pick my grid position. Just leave it at P12. And I'm gonna cut the stream by uh, by 12 because I'm sleepy at the moment. But definitely going to uh, definitely going to place much more forts uh, the coming weekend. Gaps on the outside, we're gonna go for it. Rough start there. Nowhere to go, we're gonna have to ram through. Ow! Oh, there's a there's someone off up ahead. It's causing a shake up in the grid. Someone's off! Oh, 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 hello! <laughs> Somebody's off. The black car... Okay, avoid... Uh, how was that avoidable? I mean, the black car was trying to avoid an accident in front of me. I forgot what car we were chasing in race 1 earlier, but I think this is one of them. So for the next race, for the next round, on practice session we want to try the simulation steering. And see how that feels. But normal steering though, it's perfect. Normal steering is perfect.
Oh no. Oh, that was that was tight. That was tight. Yeah, normal steering is perfect. Now I'm curious how uh, simulation steering is, but. Got a good feel in this car now. Got a good feel in this car now. Why is this car braking at the exit of a corner? But I'll take that, thank you very much. You can definitely feel the the grip limit on the force feedback in this game. Really nicely done by turn 10 at least. Now we have to be one second ahead of the car behind to secure P3. One lap of fuel remaining. If only we had more laps, we'd catch up to those two. Or if we didn't have the contact from a car earlier, but yeah, good race. Yeah, they did upgrade alongside us, so pointless to upgrade the car. Earlier, we were we were all below 500 points, and now, like, they were upgrading alongside us. Bugjum is finished somewhere in the back of the grid with the Vox Axtra. Alright, so next up we are going to be trying uh, simulation handling. Simulation steering rather. Now we have the flywheel, but it's pointless to upgrade because the other cars are also upgrading as well. So let's just, you know, proceed to the next race right away. Probably worry about upgrades when we get to the serious leagues now. So for now, we grind credits, get those credits. <laughs> I'm not, uh, let's see the audio. Uh, we, did we turn something off? Also one metric by the way. Okay, so... Five lap race. So five laps of fuel. Okay, 
18% will do. Also, this time we'll want to use simulation steering and see how that feels. Although, personally, I would stick with normal because hmm, normal is normal. I like the cutscenes, like at least give you time to transition from a keyboard to a wheel. But it still puts you on a rolling start. And it's raining, I believe. Sound is bugging. Don't know why. Okay, simulation on a front wheel drive car is still easy. I wanna try simulation steering on the Porsche GT2 RS. Because that's the car I struggled with the first time I tried Forza 7. Forza Motorsport 7, I mean. So I think we can maybe quit this race for now and just save this race for another day. Yeah. Because it's almost sleep time on my end, so any under the credits and receive. Yeah, I wanna try the GT2 RS on simulation steering. Because that's how I'll know if the simulation steering has been changed or not. Takes a while to load, so definitely could use an SSD. Okay, let's see. Uh, race. Free play. Quick event setup, can we? Do a quick event setup? Porsche. GT2 RS 2018. Type. Test drive. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Track. Let's see. Dubai is gone, but yeah, that's a fictional track. We don't really care much. Mostly real tracks. We've got Homestead, Miami Circuit, Hakone, Eagle Rock. This is new. Uh, but you know what? Let's go for Spa. And go over dry first. Mostly clear. So we're in simulation steering. Uh, last bit we'll do for the night and then we'll have to hop off because still got work tomorrow. So just why do we still have drive with our difficulty on test drive mode? Settings, simulation steering, yes. Let's go. And they took out the stripes of the car. Okay, let's see. Typical Porsche, you really have to be easy on the exit. But 
But I think simulation steering is much more stable. Don't care about times now. I don't know which is better in braking, uh, full ABS or not. Need to do some skid pad testing. But I think the simulation steering has been improved. Uh, handling models definitely change. Simulation steering on this Porsche is much more stable, much more predictable compared to Forza Motorsport 7. But I think I would still prefer to have like the normal mode, but let's see. Let's put it wild here. Okay, hit the wall there. Let's do something. Okay, this is not the right track to do this kind of stunt. You know, let's move on to a different track. Now that I know that the general handling has been improved on simulation steering, let's go somewhere else where we can play around more. And event menu, can we change the track on the fly? No, we can't. We have to like uh, exit the race and then pick another track from there. Damien Wolf, uh, visiting us from the Legion of Racers Racecast channel. Yo, happy streaming. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Damien Wolf, for uh, stopping by in the Racecast channel. Hope you could try this game soon. I think it's looking good. It's, uh, you know, it's looking, it's, you know, it's feeling good. Uh, still needs ironing out, but enjoyable, I would say. An enjoyable game, this one. Yeah, so we're going somewhere a little bit wider. Hakone, and that's the new track as well. Uh, so there are sections here where you could possibly do a chain drift, but let's see. Yeah, I'll be heading off soon, but uh, before we wrap things up, I just want to see how the simulation steering is compared to uh, compared to Forza Motorsport 7. So far, it is looking good. St much more stable compared to uh, much more stable compared to Forza Motorsport 7. I mean, I remember in Dubai, I was trying to tackle the chicane. I couldn't do couldn't do so well. Okay. Let's try it on the first corner. No, we don't care about time yet. Nice, there we go. Looking good. Oh, <laughs> typical of a Porsche, it would lose. Uh, you know, it would spin around if you push it too hard, but at least I could hold the drift better than I did on uh, Forza 7. Okay, now the rear tires are too hot. We gotta cool it down. We gotta cool it down. Okay, that's a, that's a tank stop.
Okay. This Porsche is not built for drifting out of the box. Okay, let's try normal steering next. See if we could hold the drifts better. Yeah, this is expected of a Porsche, like, really hard to, like, maintain a control, but, let's see, um, uh, to event menu. Then let's just start from the, start from, uh, you know, from start to... Okay, can we still drift on this hunting model? Oh, we can, we can, we can. Let's go, let's go. Okay, not as pirouetting as the uh, simulation steering, like not really much of a tank stopper, but still you can perform some nice drifts on normal steering mode. So definitely a lot of changes have been made on the uh, hunting model of Forza, that is, that is, that is certain. Ah, uh, the understeer pit. Uh, I just need the right car for the job. But definitely the drifts are holdable. Ah. Uh. There we go! That's what we're talking about! Nice! Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I could definitely use some practice drifting but on this car yeah it's going to be much more of a challenge it still have still needs a few more adjustments but we have the right settings i think this will make for a great drift game as well so i think that will be it for tonight uh tomorrow i'll need to like do some gt7 for a while of stream but we'll probably be back on friday for some more forza motorsport 8 action or just yeah just forza motorsport in general definitely an enjoyable game but it still needs ironing out by the developers there's still some bugs here and there but i think it may have been i think it may have been addressed while i was at work so could have been a silent update i didn't notice but so far enjoyable uh i would recommend it for those especially coming from xbox or are in xbox or if you're on pc you can get it on the game pass for uh 150 pesos a month if i'm not mistaken yeah good value uh great uh good handling model really enjoyable plenty of uh plenty of options that you could adjust for your driving style yeah Really good game, I would say, but yeah, still has its bugs. It cannot be, you know, it cannot be avoided these days, especially with how developers approach their game development right now. But yeah, good game. Long story short, good, good racing game. Uh, still a long way to go before the end of the career mode. We still have a lot that we can do there, but yeah, definitely good job, Microsoft. 
just needs some polishing. Uh, I think it should have been polished before release. Better if they could have done that, but yeah, forgivable. Yeah, so we'll be back on Friday for some more Forza Motorsport, and I will see you guys by then. Thank you to those who have dropped by and commented and reacted on the stream. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Uh, to be honest, I kind of like wanted more out of this game like wanted to play more but yeah it's around sleep time now so we gotta rest first and yeah we'll catch up on friday so thank you very much to those who have stopped by hope you enjoyed tonight's stream and i will see you guys friday bye bye for now